You know, as a student of history, there are very few things that are as concerning as finding out that large sums of people in the country where you live don't know how to recognize the signs and symptoms of a genocidal and totalitarian regime. So you can imagine how far my heart fell out of my ass when I found out today that most U.S. states don't have laws requiring public school students to learn about the Holocaust. Apparently, as many as 33 U.S. states have absolutely no requirement on the books to teach it. And as most schools in the U.S. are severely underfunded to begin with, the likelihood of teachers being willing to take that additional task on for themselves, knowing they won't be compensated for it, pretty fucking slim. And when you add to all of this that politicians on both the right and the left are playing with district lines, making the whole voting process even more complicated than it needs to be, coupled with the rise in racism, general hate speech, and just overall Nazi-loving sentiment, and the fact that the U.S. Congress decided to handle the whole people deciding to attack the Capitol thing with less fanfare and more, eh, don't do it again. It's painting a pretty fucking bleak picture for the future of U.S. history. And it's starting to look a lot like Rome did right around the time when the Senate fell. We started to get into the weird, crazy emperor phase of the Roman Empire. So I say all of that to say, if y'all want the U.S. to have an actual viable chance of surviving this period, there's only one answer. It is time once again to follow the wisdom of Indiana Jones and begin punching Nazis. Ooh, and racists. Gotta do the racists.